What's happening out there, gang? Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm down here in beautiful sunny Orlando, right? Got the palm trees, blue sky. Just got my mandatory Starbucks, a little black iced coffee, and a bento box. A bento box is like my favorite go-to travel snack. A couple of eggs, some fruit, a little bit of peanut butter. Great way to, you know, kind of try to keep the diet on track even even when you're traveling a little bit and you know I'm down here visiting some friends so everybody wants to go out and eat and drink and hang out so if I could get my fitness in in the morning eat healthy all day you know save some of those calories for for later on in the evening so so I've been reading a lot of you know stuff outside the industry right and I want to talk about like you know gym owners kind of opening up their horizons and focusing on learning from other industries that are doing service at other levels, you know, or next level, right? And have been doing it differently for years, right? The gym industry is kind of, you know, it's an old industry, been around forever, but, you know, it's not as seasoned and mature as like the restaurant, hospitality, hotel industry, or, you know, finance and things like that, right? So banking and such. So you can learn so much from other industries in terms of how they connect, communicate with their clientele, how they offer their products, how they, you know, interface and create opportunities for sales and things like that. So, you know, let's look at like, you know, like a hotel. Think about like a concierge hotel, right? You go stay at a nice hotel somewhere, not your, you know, not your Holiday Inn Express or nothing like that. You go stay at a a St. Regis, a Ritz, you know, a Four Seasons. It's everything leading up. It's not just the hotel and the fact that they have, you know, beautiful locations, beautiful hotels and things like that. It's the concierge service. It's calling ahead, right, to see what type of foods you like, to make restaurant recommendations, right? It's, it's you know, what type of pillow would you like, Mr. Riggio? Like those types of things. You know, we have 10 different types of pillows you might be interested in. Or what uh, you know would you and do you and your wife have any food allergies we should know about and all those little things and then when you get there a lot of times in these hotels you know now they're going a lot of digital so they have these interactive experiences like you know kind of where are you going what are you doing you know being able to order food and drinks anywhere in the hotel you know right to your room that's been one of the things that I, I I've always dreamt of with the gym is you know being able to predict what clients need and how to deliver it to them immediately not just training right so like let's say you have a client who's in one of your fitness programs and you know they're lacking in a particular area you know of strength or whatever it might be and you're able to give them you know, a series of videos to improve their squat, right? And it has to do with bringing up their accessory work, hamstrings, glutes, things like that, right? Or, you know, a pamphlet on training or a, you know, a, a virtual coach or being able to interact with them with their nutrition and things like that, right? So these are all the types of things that I'm trying to think of. How can I continuously Put myself in a position to get my clients anything they need at any one time right to make sure that when they come to varsity house anything they need in terms of their fitness life cycle we can provide at a great high level so that there's no need to go anywhere else right nutritional service you know PT services coming soon things like that right so and and consistently interacting with them virtually through technology so that they can constantly and consistently tell us what they want, how they feel, what they feel they need, right? You know, where they're falling short, you know, whether it's nutrition, training, shoulder pain, something like that. And we could address those issues as fast as possible, okay? That's the key. That's the wave of the future, gang. So, you know, technology is a wonderful thing. It, it's a blessing and a curse in many ways, but it's a wonderful thing. It allows us to communicate with our, with our, 
with our clientele at a, at a speed that didn't exist when you know when I started training people you know it was a pen and pad and you know and a phone <laughs> that was it right and there's nothing wrong with that that's still you know that's still the basis of our entire business but the reality is is that as we move forward pe interacting with people you know via apps and via um, you know a, a, techno a technology presence is going to be more and more critical and you know, when I look at it from an interactive experience, like I'm down here in Orlando, we're going to Disney, right? And you know, you go to Disney, and and you know, we're, we you get the wristbands, you know, you get the, like the the the, um, the A plus package, right? And you get the wristbands, and the wristbands are chipped, and everywhere you go, right? It's almost like a virtual experience. Like, hey, you know, no lines over here. You know, don't waste time on Space Mountain. Go to Epcot. You know, and stuff like that. And it's like. So they're, they're literally following you through the park and putting opportunities in front of you based on things you're already doing, right? So like if they see you going, you, you rode on Space Mountain, hey, want to try another roller coaster ride or another ride, one of our other attractions? Go here, right? No lines and stuff like that. You know, what are you doing for dinner? I get a message. What are you doing for dinner tonight? Here's some great options, you know? You know, what are you into? Seafood, steak, Chinese, whatever. It's like, whoa, right? So they're really going to a next level of trying to make their experience for the clients super, super easy and interactive. And what are they ultimately doing? They're upselling the living shit out of you, bro. <laughs> That's what they're doing, right? And they're doing the, and they're the best at it. Disney's the best at it. There is an opportunity to buy at Disney literally every square meter. You, you can't walk 20 feet without having at least 10 things that you could have bought in that area. Not to mention the restaurants, the bars, the rides, the attractions, and all the other ancillaries, you know. And forget it when you bring your kid, you know, I want this, I want that, I want this. You walk out of there with a pile of stuffed animals, the stupid little di Jurassic Park dinosaur heads, the, the, rah, 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 things like that. Everything costs $25 a pop, you know, so you, you're spending money on the park and you're spending money $100 a day on nonsense and then you go spend $200 on dinner <laughs> you know and it's it just never stops right so but when I walk out of there I didn't feel like I got sold a pile of shit that's the difference right I felt like they helped me navigate their giant park navigate their the experience right by putting opportunities in front of me based on some questionnaires that you fill out when you when you before you go and it's like, hey, here's some things that we think you might like. So it's the same thing in the gym industry. And as we get further and further down the rabbit hole of improving the client experience, you want to be able to predict what clients want, what they need, what's going to help them the most, and deliver it to them. And it's not just delivering workouts. That, I promise you, okay? Anybody can write a wad on a, on a whiteboard and kick the shit out of people, okay? We're, I'm done with that. I did that for 25 years. I, you know, trained some of the top athletes in the country. I've helped transform the lives of hundreds of our, our adult clients. Now I want to get deep, deep rooted into their, you know, wants, needs, desires, right? And help them become the best versions of themselves by offering them ancillary products, services, and coaching that they can't get anywhere else in our area, especially. And, and you know, that way they see us as the strength coach in the back pocket and anything that they need they're going to be able to get so a lot of that can be done virtually there's some great programs out there virtual coaching programs um, one that i'm really interested in right now is called true coach i got turned on to it by jay ferugia he's delivering an amazing experience with his online training programs through true coach and i've been speaking with them and i'm very interested in their platform because it's super simple very easy to deliver and we can create a a, a giant bank of you know videos and services through them that i can deliver to my clients at any time so let's say a client goes on vacation right and they're going to be away for a few weeks or a week or so they can literally go onto the true coach app download one of our vacation programs, download our vacation nutrition plan, right? And have the training program delivered to them every single day via their phone app. And, and that's an amazing upgrade and experience. They come back to Varsity, I said, oh, it was great. I stayed, on, I stayed on track. I had my fun. I drank a little, ate some good dinners. But for the most part, I got my workouts in and I ate clean most of the time. So up the experience, think about the future. 
learn from other industries. Get out there, big world, baby.